Hey there, it's Raz. Raz's Music Review. This is me talking about the new Revolution Saints album, Eagle Flight. Yeah, I know, it sounds a little bit like Journey right here. And it's going to sound a little bit more like Journey when Dean Castronova starts singing. Here it goes a little more symphonic, gets a little heavier. But, you know, the first couple songs of this record are really good. I'm trying to wait for you to hear it, but... Here you go. Dean Castronova. This band was put together around Dean Castronova's amazing singing voice. First album came out, the original lineup was Jack Blades and Doug Aldridge on guitar. Jack Blades, of course, on um, bass and vocals. And the first album had the Jack Blades and Dean Castanova were sharing lead vocal parts. And then the second album came out. There, there was still Jack Blades there, but he was mainly reduced to playing bass and doing background vocals. Doug was just playing guitar in a melodic rock band because that's what this band is. It's a melodic rock band. And the second album was a bunch of mediocre songs. The, you know, this band, like I said, was put together around uh, Dean's voice. So the other two guys split after the second album because it really wasn't that great and probably because, you know, they were really writing the songs. They have Frontiers, yeah, my favorite label, Frontiers, has this guy that's writing music for these, for the, this band. I guess it was his mastermind. And they have the guy from Hardline, the singer from Hardline, who um, is a great singer. And Dean was in Hardline for a while, uh, teaching Dean the vocal lines, vocal parts, uh, giving him being a coach. The third album comes out. They've got a new lineup. They've got Joel Holkstra, who was in Night Ranger, and White Snake, and Trans Siberian, and then Jeff Pilson on bass. Uh, Jeff Pilson's got a great voice, great bass player, and you know. Him from Doc and in Foreigner. Uh, so I was looking forward to hearing what the third record would be. Maybe let's see if they'll let these guys play. Well, the third record comes out. First two songs are really good. Then the rest of it's overproduced, melodic rock, mediocre songs. Just mediocre. You know, you got these talented guys, three talented guys Joel Hoekstra, Jeff Pielsen, and Dean Castronova. And you're writing music for them. What is your issue? Let these guys, you want these guys to be a band, let these guys be a band, write their own songs. Have you heard the first two releases off the Joel Hoekstra album that just came out, Hoekstra 13, or that are, is coming out? Badass. This? Meh. Just goes again, wants to show me one more time that Frontiers Records, man, not a whole lot comes out of that record company that's worth listening to, in my opinion, unless it's older bands that still write their own material, because if they have some of their songwriters and their guys doing it, it's not worth listening to, in my opinion. So I guess I'll never get signed to Frontiers Records if they ever hear this. Um, but I don't care. So, if you like what I had to say, well, actually, you know, go give it a listen. You might like it. I don't. I think it's mediocre at best. Um, so, I'm going to sign off now. But, if you like what I had to say... Like, subscribe, and follow, and comment on YouTube. And don't like what I have to say? Well, you know, 
that's why we're adults and that's why we both have brains and we can think for ourselves and come up with our own decisions. So we'll just have to agree to disagree. Till next time, see ya.